Hello everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to episode 6 of the PGA Tour, Roy McIlroy Pro Tour, with our golfer of course, myself, Toby Jones. Today it's time for the 4th and final round of the Phoenix Open, we're playing all 18 holes, so let's get straight into it, Do uh, shall we? Do we? Shall we? Yeah, that's right. If you didn't watch the last episode, go and watch that now. But in the last episode, in the first three rounds, we did make the cut, which is the most important thing. Um, but we're now two under after those three rounds. We're in 44th place, and hopefully in this round, we know a little bit more of the course now, the wider course, and hopefully we can get a little bit more adjusted to the uh, little bit more adjusted to the holes, and hopefully get in a little bit of contention here. So here we are then, straight away at the first 407 yards, and uh, this looks quite a nice hole. Wind going um, towards the hole, which I quite like. That's uh, increased the amount that our drive's going to be able to push. This could be our first 300 yards, ladies and gentlemen. Go on, go on. No, it's not going to go. 200, nah, not even 290 yards in the end, but very nearly. Very nice, though. My golf was happy with that. Right, let's bring it back a lot now. Let's bring it back nine yards. Uh, let's bring it back nine yards. Yeah, I feel like that's about right. That's nice. Go on, bobble a bit, a bit. Go on, stay, stay. That is lovely. That should be birdable. Uh, birdable. Birdieable. And that is a very nice start to our first um, full round if we can get that in the hole. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Just missed. But it's a par at that first hole. We can't really look back on that mistake. We still look two under that. all that matters, ladies and gentlemen. At the second now. Wing coming back to us. Um, complete reverse of the last hole. But uh, that looks all fine to me. Oh dear, that is coming back. Bastard. I can just feel the ball struggling to make ground in the air. I can really feel that with this game. That it's really struggling. So it just flops down. It almost just floats in the air. And can't really make any ground. That's going to be tricky when we come to get to the green now. To push it about four or five yards over the hole. And hopefully that should uh, give us in good stead. Again, decent hit. Oh, it's gone a little bit to the right. I don't like that. Push a bit to the left now, possibly. Can't do anything about it because we've got no spin control. And that is going to be a very tricky um, put to the left. Because it seems like the it is downhill, this green. Oh, no, it's not. It seems pretty straight, actually, from that. Right, well, I feel like this could be quite a straight put. And it is, yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Come on in line. Oh, it's way too quick. Way too quick. Just gone completely past that. And this could be possibly a bogey here. Wait, well, it is going to be a bogey. There's no real doubt about it. Never mind. We've chipped that one in. Lovely stuff. That's a good start to episode 6. Two pars in the end. Uh, two pretty difficult holes, actually, with some pretty difficult wind conditions. But we've proved we can do it at these two holes, which is all very nice. Another extreme here then, 12 mile an hour winds again. Um, it's particularly, it's weird because it's these really strong winds here at, Squ at Sawgrass that we didn't really see on the first three days apart from a few holes. But then I suppose we haven't really played the full course just yet. Could reach this one in two, that's our first 300 yard. I didn't realise that in the end. Um, but let, let's try and reach it here. Let's try and reach the green. With the driver, of course. Decent shot. Oh dear, that's gone way to the right. Doesn't matter though, it's a par five. Oh, lovely. Nice bit of bounce we got there. And that has worked a treat for us, you know. Don't get too much more. Go on, stay. This could be an eagle, ladies and gents. That was lovely, by the way. Bit of luck, but that's what you need sometimes in sport. 17 foot put then here. Let's put it a little bit longer and a little bit to the left. Let's see what we can do. Go on, go on. <laughs> it's in the hole it's in the hole and we are now four under par and uh, now we can get really going when the going gets tough the tough get going oh dear I'm funny now right bring that to the right a little bit that should be all good i do that bit of a short swing that might impact us a little bit don't bounce too much on the green it is though that's not too bad though don't go on the fringe it is just oh it's on the fairway just See if we can replicate our little chip in. Go on. Go on, son. Oh, a little bit to the left. That had got about the right pace on it, though. Settle for a par, though, here. This is good stuff. Okay. 
in the hole. That's a pot. I'm going to have four under after five holes, I think it is. I think we've done five holes now. No, we've done four holes. Sublime. We're two under for the round. Uh, or is that three under for the round? No, we're two under for... Uh, I don't know. No, we got a bird in we no, I think I think we got a bird and we got an eagle, so I think we must be three under for the round. Which after four holes, which is quite incredible. And we've got some real momentum on our sides now, but that could just be broken. Don't go in the bunker. Yeah, that's exactly where it's heading. That's where's it gone. Oh dear. That ain't gonna be good. Puzzled there. Right, let's bring this back. Twelve mile an hour that could be going. Wow. That just shows, wow, look at how much that's dragged. It's a long way. Not even on the green from there. I feel like the bunker effect does that to us though. Let's bring it back a few yards. And to the left. A little bit more to the left. That's solid. I'll type that. That should be a nice easy put in for par. Here at the fifth. Good stuff. Seven foot put then. Nice and straight. And in the hole. That's a par at the fifth. 13 holes then to go in this round. Can we get anything out of this? Can we upset the apple cart with some of the leaders? Just got to bear in mind that uh, a bad hole, of course, could completely jeopardise all of this. So, just got to bear that one in mind. How the hell's that gone massively to the right? I don't get that. Not too bad, though, because the wind's not too bad. So, just in the first cut there, not in the rough. That's okay. Right, let's bring it a little bit um, further than the hole is. Nasty wind conditions though here. That could be in the bunker. It is. It's going to be in the bunker. I don't know why we didn't listen there. It's not in the bunker actually. It's in the rough, which I don't mind to be fair. Up and over onto the green. <laughs> Easy. Um, harder than it sounds. Especially with these wind conditions. It's on the green though. Oh, it hit the flag. Oh, so very nearly in the hole. Right, this could be where we lose a shot here, I feel like. Uh, yeah, that looks about right to me. Go on, go on, go on, in the hole. Phew, another part. And as you say, a par save there, really, at the sixth. Let's push on to the seventh then now, shall we? Come on. Let's do this thing. Oh, that's going upward. That's nasty. Right, let's just try and ping it off the off the first cut. Slow the ball down a bit and then see how we can get on. Go on off that first cut. No, it's nowhere near. That's gone way too far. <sighs> Dear. Back on the green, though, and uh, that should be a nice par. Right, 14 yards. Sounds good to me. Bobble into the hole, maybe. Oh! Oh, yes! What a blooming Wow! What a wedge! What a shot! What a chip! What a shot! Getting a bit of momentum going now. We don't want to get too cocky though, because that could be very easily broken. And we're in 14th place now in this tournament. I have to say, we're doing pretty well. I'm quite enjoying this now. Not that I wasn't enjoying it before, but it was quite painful at the Bioware Classic because we just kept getting battered, which was never a nice feeling. Alright, we don't need to hit it that far, I don't think. Probably do need the driver on this one, though, to get to the green. We do. We certainly do. Up and over. Go on, go on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. In the hole, please. Please. <laughs> wow. Shot. Shot and a half. That should be another birdie. It is. What a round we're having here. What a round. Oh, I honestly haven't changed the difficulty. You could moan at that, but I haven't. I really haven't changed the difficulty. And uh, we're having a fantastic round here at the Phoenix Open. It could only get worse. I, I hear what you're saying. Don't you worry. Nice full swing again. That's when gonna, it's going to get to the left. I'm going to have to try and get it over that tree, I feel like, to get it to the green now, which could be a problem. We might just be able to miss it, though. Let's have a look. Right. Hmm. It's a question of whether it's going to go over that tree. That, that's the advantage of the aiming arc. Hmm. Well, let's just go for it. I feel like we can probably get it over the trees. We'll soon know. Yeah, that's fine. On the green? No, just off. No bird here then. I don't think we can't roll it out, of course. 
Can't roll it out. But let's try a bit of our nice chipping skills. Really close the hole. Very nearly a birdie, but we're going to have to take par here. And off the first nine, on the front nine, we're four under. And I feel great about that. We can do that again. We're ten under for the, for the round. And that, to me, is a fantastic achievement. God, I wish someone had stopped messaging me. Rude. I'm obviously very popular today. Right, if you see saw what happened in our first few rounds here, we're going to have to put it very much to the left, just to make sure it doesn't go in that bunker. Look how much that elevates it, though, to the right. I mean, it's not had the massive effect massively that I thought it would have. We're in the top ten now. I feel like I could be altered, though, with the fact that other people are going to be doing um, their rounds later on in the day. I'm it around there. That's too far. That's not even far enough, to be honest. Right. Tricky birdie put here. We might have to settle for par, which I'm quite comfortable with, to be honest. We haven't dropped a shot, I don't think, in this round, which I'm very happy about. But there's still nine holes in which we could do that in. Right. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, that's so close. But we're going to settle with a par here. I'm, I'm happy with that. Not really much you can do about it. The past is the past. Don't want to get all philosophical, but the past is the past. You can't change it. And that's the past now. <sighs> the present's the only gift you're getting. Oh, Rob, let's, let's not get into that. Ninth straight, one again. Eleventh hole here at TBC Swallgrass. Firmly onto the back nine there. It's been a very good tournament for us. A good um, high after that. Disappointing Bioware Classic. Of course, kind of forgetting that career builder challenge ever happened. Because we, we won that easily. And uh, let's just say we got it too easily in the end. Oh dear. That wasn't fantastic either. Not had the best start to the back nine here. As long as we can keep apart. Not fussed about that. Maybe get a birdie here. Who knows? This is going to be quite close. Oh, I just skimmed it. Oh, well. Again, I'm not really looking to win this tournament. I'm just looking to do well. And again, another par. I'm happy with that. We've had quite a few pars now. Of course, that eagle kind of tightened our score a little bit, but I don't mind. I can, I can, can cope. Eight more to go. Oh, uh, are we on the 12th? Yeah, we've got seven more to go then now. Oh, jeepers. Right, we need to aim this seriously. To the left. And that is about right. If it doesn't bounce too much. Nah, I could do it if it bounced a little bit less than that. A lot less, actually. I've ended up quite away from the flag stick now. 32 foot. Still a birdie chance, though. Things a bit odd, the sun's setting here. It's only like 2 o'clock. It's in the hole. Lovely stuff. Lovely put there from 35 foot, foot out. And we're now... Wow, I didn't realise how that put us there. Joint fourth. But and look at that. I don't start till quarter to three. And it's definitely not quarter to three yet. So I don't quite know where the sun's going down. How odd. But uh, we're really in contention now. But it's a little bit tainting the fact, of course, that none of the top four have actually started the last round yet. So if they do as well as we do, for example then they're going to be miles away in the end. Very good respectable round there from us out here. And this is very good to see. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Bounce. Onto the green. Mm, that, that, that's good. That's very good, actually. Ho, 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 ho. Could this be an eagle? Hello. Hello, Tiger. Oh, it's in the hole. Right. Let's process this for a minute. We could win this tournament. I don't know how. But we have had a magnificent fourth round. And we could win this one. I mean, I said in the previous video, if you don't want to watch this one, don't bother. Because we're not going to win it. I wasn't rolling it out, but we're not going to win it. I'll tell you what now. 
at these last five, we can pick up a few birdies and Jordan Smith fluffs up his round, we can win this. But with this score, if we don't get top ten, I'll be very surprised. So, you know, that's what I'm kind of aiming for. We're doing very well over here. This could be, of course, tainted now because we're in the bunker. Could drop a shot though here. Maybe getting a bit, a bit too cocky in the end. Right, zooming. We can't quite see what we're doing here. That's just my stomach. Don't know if you just heard that. Oh dear, this is where we drop a shot. Could drop a few here. Oh god. Right, we're going to have to make this one go over the odds. And there we go. We're going to drop a shot here. Going to be at least a bogey, which is unfortunate, but it was going to happen at some point, wasn't it? Could be a double bogey here if we don't do this to put particularly well. Certainly not um, a definite hole. It's not either. Wow, Deary me. See, we start talking about tournaments and winning and that knocks, well, it uh, makes our confidence too high. And now we're back down to 7 under. And uh, the, the, the pitch looks a lot different now. Let's just not for oh that's a nasty one. This could jet this could go in the rough because we might not even because well we're not the longest at doing this and we might not make it to the the lovely fairway. No, we're not going to. We're in the rough. We simply couldn't make it with that wind coming back so much. Couldn't do anything about that unfortunately. Right, I'm not fussed with that because um, we're aiming in the water because our rough's not the most brilliant. Plus the fact it's coming back, so it's not even going to make it even near the water. But just in the base, it's a par 5. We want to get it as long as possible. Onto the... Um, I was going to say onto the grid then, but onto the green. Hopefully for a nice... Um, hmm. Birdie put. Bit of a short swing there. That could make a difference. And we're in the bunker again. See how sloppy we can get as soon as we mention tournament. I feel like that's a bit of a jinx, you know. Oh. Mm, could drop another shot here, you know. Luckily we don't, though. That's a par at the 15th. Still on 7 under. Of course, that means we're on... I think that's 6 under for the round. I'm fairly sure it's 6 under for the round. So we're doing well here. Very well. Right, wind's coming back towards us. So we're going to have to hit it a lot longer. Bring the 6 iron out. Oh, wow. That's gone a little bit to the left. A lot to the left, actually. Getting a bit sloppy at these last few holes. It's quite a good round until here. We're getting quite sloppy now. Got a cup of tea downstairs, so it better not be too long. But that's another sloppy shot again. Oh dear. See how uh, the good from around can be erased so quickly. Luckily, though, that one's in the hole for a par. Two holes to go, then, here. At the Phoenix Open for us. It's been a very good tournament for us. Very good. If you can see the Bioware Classic. Right, we're going to struggle at this one. So, you're not going to get it on the green on the first go, anyway. That's, that's for certain. Decent shot, though, as long as it doesn't go into that bunker. It's cleared the bunker. It is in the rough, though. No, yeah, first cut. Okay, I'll deal with that. Again, fairly happy with that. Bring it further than the hole. Full swing. Slightly to the left there. I don't quite like that too much. Ooh. Let's try and chip this onto the green then. And try and get... Um, a par. Again, not too bad. Flagstick very windy. Very much representing the wind that's going on here. Could miss a shot though here. We're all right, that's another par. Again, I feel like this back nine, we haven't done too well. We're only one under on this back nine. Um, that's purely because A, we probably haven't played it as much. And B, let's be honest, um, we've been a little bit sloppy. Last hole in the tournament. It's been a good one for us, as I've said what many times now. Let's end this how we've uh, done the round so far. It'd be lovely to get a birdie and end on eight under. We're not going to win this tournament now. Um, but at the end of the day, we've done very well in this last round. And I think that's some good... Progress, some very good progress actually. Again, our golf are very happy with that. Right, let's bring it back. 
to the right. That should be decent. It's on the green. Bounce to the right. It's not going to, but it could do. Ah, it ain't going to really get into the hole from there, is it? Let's be honest. He's happy with that, though. 27 foot put. Let's go for it. Come on. And that's our end of the tournament, but we got a birdie. And we end the back nine on eight under, and we end this round in total on seven under par. What a fantastic last round it was. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I think that one deserves a like, to be honest. Particularly good golf from me there, particularly on the front nine. And uh, let's see how everyone else gets on. We beat Ben Crane, who got a five under around on that day. Yes, we did get oh, six under, sorry. So we were on two under before we started. It must have been four under on the first nine. And at the end of the tournament... We finish in 7th place, only 3 shots behind Sergio Garcia and Henrik Stenson in the end, but that is pretty good, 800 in the end, 7th place, and that was thoroughly enjoyable. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these two episodes over the last few days, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you have done and like the video as well. Comment, any thoughts about the video, and I'll see you guys on Thursday for the start of the next tournament, I'm not sure where it is, but I hope you guys will enjoy it all the same. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.